I end up, you know, deeming that, you know what, I need to have a child to fill this void. I had my first child, and then once I had her, I still carried on with like a lot of the drugs and PCP and flipping out random, raving around the house about I'm God and things of that nature. Yeah, how'd you get your name? God, of course. So it was kind of like, oh, divorce was inevitable. And then divorce can be compared to death. So it was like another death. And it was my daughter too, because it was a restraining order that came with the divorce. It was not an amicable split. And then I met Amatula. I had my second daughter, and it was a fascinating time. But I was still heavy into the drugs, because I started staying up like four or five nights at a time. We got into an altercation. It was a restraining order on me, on her. It was already a restraining order prior for my first wife. And then now, this new one looming, I was like, oh, fuck. I got back into the drugs heavy, and I was fucking up my situation, and the kids that I was producing were, you know, they were really suffering the most. And I, um, I, uh, yeah, this is the first time I've seen this since the actual night of the occurrence. It was really scary because I was just seeing the cycle being repeated of my father and I being in my life. And that's something I swore I would never take part in. It's a very, uh, crazy night for me. Frustration of not being able to see none of the kids I father was just unbearable because I was in the darkest spot, I think um, humanly possible even. We had all indulged in doing the drugs that we did. You know, the party was like here, that high, and everything was just, you know, easy to deal with. Although in the back of my mind, all these issues were eating me. I was thinking my interaction with women have been just, just callous with no moral code. I said, I will fix this problem that is causing me so much, um, you know, misery, you know what I mean? And that's where the, I think the insanity kicked in. I said, yo, my dick is out of control. I need a vasectomy. I just jumped up out of nowhere. And I went to the kitchen. I just went into, uh, a blackout mode, I guess, because I can't tell you what type of knife I grabbed, but I know it was sufficient. And I grabbed the knife, and bam, I pulled down my pants, and then all of baby, you know, that quick. But it was like, oh, shh, like a water hose. And I said, hey, I'm pretty much going to bleed to death. This is pretty much it for me. And I jumped over the balcony. I thought he was stabbing himself, but this 